What's up you guys? Welcome to the Western Hunting Expo 2022. I came here to the show. I wasn't sure if it was going to be worthy of a video, but man, have I found some cool hunting gadgets to share with you guys. Let's take a look. Hey, this is AJ with Velvet Antler Technology. It's a simple spray-on application for any animal in velvet. It could be a, a moose, an elk, a deer. Uh, this is the new modern way of treating velvet. No more injecting formaldehyde, no more freeze drying, no more dunk tank, nothing. It's a simple spray on application. When you get your animal of choice on the ground in velvet, once you've gotten cape and taken care of the meat, you just simply adjust the spray nozzle to on, come with about an inch of the tine and just start spraying. And what it's doing is it's actually impregnating itself between the velvet tissue and the bone and will preserve it from the inside out. This is a one-time use. You only ever have to use Velvalock once. So that's our product, Velvalock. So we're Mini Muleys. We make replicas of your very own animal using only photos. And so what you're able to do is with just photos from your smartphone, whether it's an iPhone or Android, you can send us photos and we're able to make an exact replica of your animal. Whether it's a shoulder mount, a gyro, a shed, it does not matter and we're able to do it with such d distinct detail. Everything runs from about 100 bucks to 200 bucks on average for customs. Everything is handcrafted, hand painted. Definitely check us out, we're at minimealies.com and uh, excited to show you what we're making. So this is the pack wheel. This is our electric version. It's three miles an hour top speed, will haul up to 200 pounds, has a range between 10 and 30 miles. It's a total game changer for carrying weight. A lot of torque in the motor, so you can have a lot of control, go at a snail's pace, or a almost brisk jog. Eight inch rotor, a lot of stopping power, and it'll climb nearly anything as long as you can get traction on it. There's 100 pounds of weight on here currently. The price is $18.95, and our website is packwheel.com. All right, this is a much requested booth. This is Six Sour. You guys know that I reviewed the Cross, and it's a gun that has stayed in my safe, and I thought, okay, I'll use it every once in a while, and it's one that I just grab more and more and more often. Mm -hmm. But the question that they all have about the Six Cross is, when are we gonna see more chamberings? Yeah, so we have a few, uh, probably, two or three new uh, medium action chamberings that we're working on for uh, later this year, and uh, which has kind of been out there. We are also working on a long action version of the cross that will give us some of the bigger calibers as well. Um, so we do have in mind, obviously, to expand what we currently have, but also have a secondary action that will do some of the long action stuff that we're working on too. Awesome. Yeah. And how about 277 Sig Fury? We heard so much about it, and then it was just silent. What happened? Yeah. So 277, we actually have been we've been progressively working on the ammo for a while uh, with the Army contract to better the ammo for for their purposes. And so what we've done is we've kind of held back on the changes to not have multiple different offerings. We want to have one one round that we put out into the market. Market. Um, but good news is we are at that point. Um, we've been testing and the results have been very, very good. And so we're, we're at the point where we're gonna probably be seeing these things in the next two months hitting shelves. Awesome. Um, the only real difference you'll notice um, because of the high pressures, you'll see that the barrel is black. Um, but it is still stainless, it's FNC coated, and reason for that is just the higher pressures, it adds to longevity of the barrel to make sure that we get enough the out of it. The outside of the barrel is black? Uh, the whole barrel will be nitride, it's, it's oh, nitride treated, yeah. So okay. it'll allow it to make sure that the barrel gets that longevity with the high pressure cartridge. And 277 Sig Fury can't reload? Uh, not as of yet, but I will not say it will not be reloadable. I, I don't want to go to that extent because we have been working on it. Okay. Yeah. So tell me about these new guns, yeah. So we got two new guns. Um, we have the first one, which is the Born and Raised edition. And uh, what this is, is it's a collaboration we did with the guys from Born and Raised. We flew them out to New Hampshire and we were working on some things that they wanted that was different about the cross. Um, one being, you'll see right away, uh, this is in 6.5. It is a 24 inch barrel. So we went for the longer barrel um, where the standard cross has always been the shorter barrel for suppressibility and compactness. They wanted a little bit more velocity out of it. So we increased it out to 24 inches. Um, it has an aluminum arca rail. 
So this rail has actually got the Arca built into the bottom here so you can mount a tripod to it easily with no additional accessories. And it does go all the way to the back under this fore end grip, which this fore end grip for any of you guys that are bow hunters or you hunt with metal guns, this is just designed as a carrying piece to, uh, for cold weather, keeps it. And it also gives you a little bit of extra grip as you're carrying it as well. Um, this. Uh, what we call our PRS grip, and I'll show you as to why in a second. This is a wider purchase grip, little flatter, better for shooting off of a bag. Um, and then they did it in their own Cerakote color. And then the second guy we got, we wanted a PRS gun. A lot of the guys have been talking about it for a while. So what we did was we, we sat down with all of our guys at the academy and our shooters, and we decided how we could do that with the system that we had and uh, make it so that the gun was very balanced and had very smooth shooting to it. So we added weight to it. You're at about 15 pounds in the gun in the configuration that it's in. And we have this metal arc rail underneath that's actually an attached piece to the aluminum on the top with the heavy contour 24 inch barrel. And this comes in 308 and 65, both in 24. Um, we do a steel insert inside of the grip here um, to also to add weight and then steel in the back. And we wanted this gun to shoot very flat. So we balanced the weight all the way across to try to make sure that it had a balanced feel to it. And uh, it, it's, it is one of the smoothest shooting guns you will shoot. It is a great gun. We kept it at 2,500 bucks to try to make sure it could still in the PRS community, you could use it in a factory division. Hi, I'm John here with Spy High Mounting Systems. Uh, here to show you our trail camera mounting system. Comes with two poles two camera mounts and uh, the purpose of it is to get your trail camera up off the ground and out of sight. Put your mount wherever you want it on the tree. Take your camera. You place it in your mount, extract it, then you can adjust it with the adjustable port here. This is Novagrade, it's a, an adapter and it's universal so it fits any cell phone in its own case. You never have to buy another phone as you upgrade your phone, you don't have to buy another case to go in our adapter. It simply pops in, you just snap it in any cell phone, you turn it over, this slides left and right, you go to your cell phone camera in the center. You snug it down. It's a compression fitting, so it goes over the eyepiece of your bino. Once it's hooked up on the bino, then you're able to take your finger. You can zoom it in, take photos and videos right through your binoculars or your spotting scope. Hey guys, this is Lane from Go Hunt. Just wanted to show you a cool new feature we just came out with on our desktop maps. It's called terrain analysis. So what terrain analysis does is it allows you to put in criteria of the terrain that you're looking for, and then we will come and bring that forward and expose it on the map. We want, we're looking for anything between 15 and 35 degree angle south facing. And what it's gonna do, if you look at the map, is it'll bring those to life and it'll show you exactly all of the land that meets that criteria. And we'll build that into our e-scouting plan. We can drop it down, look at those in 3D, look at the surrounding area. We can add different layers if you want to see water or timber cuts, public, private land, etc. And it really enhances the e-scouting experience by saving you time and letting you find exactly what you're looking for. We make bipods. And let me show you what this one does because it's a bit special. Quick on and off with the Picatinny rail. It's got an amazing height range. This is, this is with it stowed. Bring the legs down to a 45, down to the standard height or uh, configuration. To go down from there, loosen this, spread the legs. If that's not low enough, legs 45 degrees forward, six and a half inches. If you wanna go up, go back to your standard height. And wherever it lands, it's locked. So you can micro adjust it. Uh, you don't have to twist any uh, knobs or locking devices. Wherever it goes, it stays. It can go stowed forward, backwards. It can be put on in either direction. For standing shots, whoops. Sorry. Right. Sorry. It can dangle. Like that. Shooting sticks. It's lightweight. It's made in Idaho. Company made, uh, started by three brothers. And when you call, we answer the phone. Hatch out West Precision. 
Hey guys, Kyle with XLR Industries here and we are showing you our Element 4.0 rifle chassis. Uh, the really cool thing about this is we machine the whole forward section from magnesium and the whole buttstock is all carbon fiber. This allows us to have a super lightweight of around 28 ounces for the complete chassis. That includes the DBM system that's all built in. Something new we have for the show as well is our new uh, C6 buttstock. It is toolless adjustment for length of pull and cheek rest height. It also features cheek rest uh, cast and fore and aft adjustment and uh, recoil pad elevation height adjustments. Hey, how are you guys doing? My name is Ellis. I'm here with Raptor Razor, here to show you guys our main product. This is the Big Game Skinner in the mono. It comes as a double knife kit designed to cut your field dressing time in half. Your Big Game Skinner is designed to be a gutting hook as well as a self-guiding skinner. It can cut through uh, three inches of the toughest hide pulling as well as the uh, housing keeps the blade up so it's a self-guided skinner. Then once you got all your meat exposed, you can come back through with your mono blade. As you can see, it fits uh, in my hand very ergonomically and free. I'll trace around that shoulder, remove the shoulder meat, come down the spine, back strap, tenderloin. We can do it a deer in about 15 minutes and an elk in about 30 minutes. This is the FX Impact. This is probably the, one of the most sought after air guns in the world right now. It's very powerful, it's very efficient, but it's also, you can switch caliber. All of these are all pre-charged pneumatic air guns, so they all run on compressed air. Um, you fill them with, with, with a separate air tank or a compressor. But the cool thing about pre-charged pneumatic is there's n almost no noise, no recoil, until you get up into the really big caliber. So we have everything from 177 caliber here up to 72 caliber. So we have a little bit of everything. Hey, this is Zach with Weatherby, showing off the Backcountry 2.0. So this is the second generation of the Backcountry family. Uh, I've got kind of the cream of the crop here, so titanium action, tension carbon barrel. It has the new Peak 44 stock, which uh, we're putting on all the backcountry guns. It uh, has a second generation of that uh, 3D hex, 3D printed recoil pad. So uh, something that we can't accomplish with uh, traditional uh, plastic molding. So it has to be 3D printed because of all the stuff that's going on inside there. It basically collapses in stages. But uh, but yeah, we, we have four different versions. Uh, two with titanium actions, two with the steel action. You have a carbon barrel and you also have just a standard pencil steel barrel. Um, so lots of things that uh, allow us to put our hot Weatherby chamberings in a super lightweight gun, kill some of the recoil with the pad, uh, kill some of the recoil with the, with the brake, head over to weatherby.com. That is it from Hunt Expo. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you in the next one.